one of my early Father's Day gifts from my daughter Riley. What's up, YTPC? Sorry about the little joke of one yes the other day. Yesterday was it? It's damn hot. It's damn hot. And it's warm today, but there's a breeze at least. Oh my God! Yesterday it was. It was horrible. Smoking. My uh, Missouri Meerschaum second. Came in a seconds bag nine years ago. What or what was it? Six years ago, five years ago, something like that. Back when they came in a ten pack bag. In it? Oh, you want to know what's in it? I got some of that in it. It's autumn evening on a summer morning. Because who says maple paint, maple syrup pancakes are just for the autumn? That's a year round thing for me. Not that I eat a lot of sweets and bread, but I'll eat pancakes for dinner. Or even lunch. I just don't like sweet first thing in the morning. Except for my pipe. Anyway. What's been going on, you guys? Oh. This is a backy flap. My, uh... My buddy down in, uh... Australia made for me. Bird's eye. Mm. Green. I love that thing. It's great for taking with me. I don't like taking it with me on hikes because sometimes it gets sweaty. I don't want it to get to the wood. So I need a little pipe and tobacco pouch for that. But uh, I like my little pack a pipe, wind the cleaner and put it down in there. It works great. As long as the, the pipe's small enough to fit in your pocket and not hinder your walking in any way. So Saturday morning, what's new with Jeff? Let's see. I don't think I guys told, told you guys that I, uh, I got a lot going on, as y'all know, but none of it pays the bills <laughs> or buys things that uh, are needed, you know. So I went and got me a little job. It's nothing big. It's uh, working a local pizzeria. Uh, Papa's Pizza. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the schedule should be up today. So I'll know my hours for next week. But it was funny because I put in like three applications there because it's so close to home. Okay. I can be there in under six minutes probably. You know, it's that it's close. I'm not afraid of work. But really, how hard? I mean, I say this now, and I'm gonna eat my words. But making pizza pies. How stressful can that be? So, never heard anything back from three, uh, three times applying for it, and two of them were on Indeed, which is a search engine for jobs, and then one was on Papa's website. So I was out and about the other day just wearing a t-shirt, um, and that's it. Well, I was wearing pants, but you know what I mean. I wasn't super done up. It wasn't a printed t-shirt. It was a, you know, plain, well, it was a 
orange t-shirt or an orange t-shirt you know v-neck a little bit you know it wasn't horrible i didn't walk in there in a in a in a white t-shirt or a wife beater so but anyway i walked in and walked up to the bar and, uh, and the bartender says what can i get you and i said a manager if you'd be so kind and he kind of looked at me and I said, it's, it's nothing big. I just put in an application, put in a few applications out or nothing back. And uh, he said, okay, hold on. And he goes down and talks to this guy. Manager, manager stands up, walks down. Introduced himself. I introduced myself. He says, well, Jeff, do you have any uh, experience? I said, well, I was construction most of my life, but... I do have experience in restaurants because when work was slow, I had, had to get other jobs. And uh, so I worked in a Philly cheesesteak shop, you know, and he goes, in the kitchen? I said, well, yeah, in the kitchen, I was the cook, cashier, waiter, uh, ordered the food and the supplies, and he said, okay, okay, I want to talk to you. And uh, we talked for a minute, and then the general manager came over and said, and he goes, I couldn't find his application. <laughs> and the manager says, well, he did it online and on Indeed. And he says, oh, that's why we never saw him. Technology isn't always the way to go. Stop making people apply for jobs online. But anyway... Uh, he told me, he told him, told the general manager about my, about me. And I said, when can you start? And the manager goes, he can start whenever you want him to. Because <laughs> I already told the manager that I was pretty free. I mean, I work with getting my son to work and stuff like that. and Doctor's appointments. But I'm, other than that, I'm pretty free. So... I'll have a little extra money to maybe bolster my briar collection a little bit. Because it is. I mean, I watched Suvu the other day and he was talking about, and it's true, how a lot of people just had one pipe and one blend. And then it came to be known that you had to rotate your briar. So everybody started getting you know, seven, six pipes, and more pipes, and more pipes, so, and it became a collect, a hobby of collecting pipes. Hmm. Makes me want pancakes now, and I don't want to eat pancakes now. I'm too busy smoking pancakes. So, I'll start that job next week. Early Father's Day present. Uh, I have another one. I was going to post on Instagram, but Insta my Instagram I won't work. It will not refresh. I've deleted it, re-downloaded it. I did everything I knew how to do, and it's still stuck on cannot refresh this feed. So, no IG for me, which is fine. It's okay. But Riley got me a couple shirts. And one says, uh, it's a black shirt with white writing and stars down it and bars and stuff like that. But uh, it says, man, the man, the myth, the legend. And then she got me this one too. Because it's pop, it's not soda. I don't care what you say. I'll let you slide with soda pop. But you're just sliding. You're not walking through there. You're just sliding. I, it's it's pop, people. So me and Riley's puppy, Sugar, just sitting now. She's over there sunning now, and I'm enjoying a pipe and a coffee. And I want to wish all you fathers out there a happy early Father's Day. Because I might not be around tomorrow. 
is with my daughter and her friends, which are my daughters. Uh, I don't know if Riley and uh, Alyssa and Rebecca have anything going for me. So we'll find out. Usually there's something. Uh, Alyssa likes to come over and make me dinner and stuff like that on my birthdays and Father's Days and stuff like that. But I haven't heard nothing, so... I got some pretty damn good kids. Except for one. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Yesterday, he, uh... <laughs> okay. Riley had to be at work before. Her car's broke down, so I've been taking her to work. And it's like a $3,000 fix. She's doing good about saving money. Uh, she's got two jobs, actually. And she's doing really good, so she'll get there in no time. But I take both of them to work. Well, it just so happened, and both of them work at Outback, but Riley also works across the lake, which is like a 25-minute drive across the toll bridge and all that. Uh, she works over there at Paradise, which is a lake bar. They both had to be at their respective places of employment at four o'clock. So I told Corbin, you're gonna have to be early. And uh, he still made us made her seven minutes late to work, which really pissed me off. I'm gonna have to talk with him about it. But anyway, this boy, he gets ready, comes out, he's carrying his socks and shoes because I'm riding his ass like a stolen pony. To hurry the up. And uh, as we're pulling into Chili Bees, as I call it, uh, he's like, Dad, you got to go home and get my glasses for me real quick. I'm like, and make Rayleigh really late? He's like, I know, I know, but I need my glasses. I said, son, were you wearing them when you got dressed? No. When you walked around the house gathering your clothes from three different spots, did you, because he never keeps them in the same spot, I said, did you wear your glasses? He said, no. I said, did you find your way to the car? He said, no. I said, you'll be all right for an hour. God bless, son. You're just going to be a squinting headache having a bitch for a minute. <laughs> Riley's back there giggling and snorting because I'm just riding it. And I said, I love you, son. I'll, I'll be back here in a little bit. <laughs> And then, well, she wouldn't have been late, to be honest. To be honest, she wouldn't have been late if it wasn't for freaking tourists. Don't know how to drive mountain roads. Lost, don't know where they're going. God love them. I mean, they bring the money here and bolster our economy, but... <laughs> anyway yeah I brought this one out you're sitting on top of my five o'clock shadow I really really like it I just wish the bits were better because they're so they're so soft I can squeeze it they're so soft you know I wish they had better bits but I really do like these though I like the shape of the acorns this one was a shire uh, back when they were first taken off. Uh, so was that six, seven years ago? And I got it in a second's bag. This, it's like the Devil Cuddy, but I think it's the Devil Acorn or something like that. I can't remember. But I really like this pipe. It's good little clincher. It's very, very light. I've, I've got lighter pipes, but it's pretty light by it. And it's, I think it's just because of all the plaster and all that stuff but I run through those bits like crazy because they're so soft because I clench them while I'm working or whatever so I'll have some five o'clock shadow in that when I'm done here which is almost done plants are doing pretty good my stage never came up uh, my cilantro it's for shit. You're probably getting beat up by the wind. All right, guys. 
happy early Father Father's Day to y'all. I hope you have a incredible Father's Day weekend. I'll try to catch up on some uh, videos before my schedule comes out and that I'm super busy because I think they're wanting to put me on full time. Which I guess I'll take it. I can just work my tail off this summer. I need to build up some money so I can go to uh, Colombia and Ecuador. She's about done. I don't remember who called it that, but diminishing returns, it's a fact. So here's to you, dads. Enjoy your weekend. Be good, or be good at it. And love, peace, hair grease.